designers. This client paid their invoice in gold. I'm not joking. They sent me a little gold bar in the post all the way from Helsinki. This might be the coolest exchange of professional services I've ever had because the client is rated as one of the most prestigious gold buyers in Finland. Now, this project did not go smoothly. So before I show you the logo that we ended up with, I want to talk about how we got there. The CEO of Suomen Kulturesevi, sorry about the pronunciation, was looking to move away from their current SK monogram logo into something much more reflective of their high quality and trustworthy service. The design would need to embody Finland, while at the same time representing the buying, selling, recycling and storing of gold. Now, the first two options I presented didn't go down all that well. We toyed with ideas using stacked gold bars and Finland's national animal, the brown bear. But when you need to invoke trust and sophistication, using designs that look a bit hipster and kind of too cool for school just aren't fit for purpose. So I started again and came up with the shield emblem in a new color scheme that introduced a wreath with the bear sitting on top and protecting the gold bars. Now while badge logos look cool, it's important that there's a version of the design that scales so that when you need to use that logo at a really small scale, there's always an icon or a concept at the very heart of the badge that you can use in isolation. And this design had a great fallback icon, this SK monogram in the shape of a gold bar. But while Sebastian liked this and the concept was great, the execution lacked a little finesse and again it was losing that ornate premium style. Also he realized that he was way more passionate than he realized about representing the recycling of gold. So I went back to the drawing board one final time and explored loads of ideas around bears tipping a smelting pot that has recycled coins falling into it before we landed on this design which Sebastian fell in love with. So I worked up multiple orientations of the design to work at different sizes and that was enough to earn my gold bar. Now commodities traders among you will know what 10 grams of 24 karat gold is actually worth and you can look it up if you really want to know but full disclosure it's not quite enough to get a logo with me. But this project was broken into phases and for this gold bar I outsourced some additional bits for them like some advert templates plus this gorgeous animated version of the logo. And here are some more images from the project and follow me for more like this please.